What the fuck, people? Welcome to my world. My fucking dystopian world. And I thought I was going crazy. No, sure enough. I'm living in a fucking dystopian nightmare from fucking George Orwell's 1984. I don't know about you guys, but here in Scotland, we've got COVID passports coming in on the 1st of October. We're trying to vaccinate our kids now in the schools, and this is all to encourage other people to get vaccinated. Because that's what these passports are about. It's about getting other people rushing out to get vaccinated so they can go on holidays and go to venues like concerts and football games and shit like that. They could fucking ram it, and I'm fucking sick of this country, this fucking pacified fucking nanny state. The people, Scotland, the brave, Scotland, the shite bags. I'm fucking sick of this place. I'm sick of the people walking around with their masks on, giving you funny looks because you've not got a mask on. Do you know what? We're one of the most pacified fucking countries in the world, Scotland. We, and we, we're, we, we walk around with these fucking bubbles on our heads, thinking we're fucking free and this and that. It's a fucking joke absolute fucking joke and I'm just sick and tired to have people just stand by, sit back and watch this shit just unfold. Watch, watch their world, their freedoms be taken and fucking away from them. If you want a vaccine, go and fucking get one. But we should have a choice here. We shouldn't be getting forced. I'm fucking up to here with this shit. I'm up to here with it. Just went in for a coffee. Name Asko and I went in, there's a barista in the cinema. So I went in the cinema, no mask, everyone's wearing masks. They're all fucking standing there looking at me again. It's like, you want a fucking photo? You want a photo, you fucking bams. Anyway, the coffee last, the, the Costa girls were very nice, very polite. But the people coming into the cinema, this big fat thing waddling in, can fucking one arse for each seat. She'll have to get two tickets because one arse would take a fucking seat up. One arse cheek would take a whole seat. Or she can get the love seats, the double fucking seats where they sit up at the back, you know what I mean? But these big fat fucking Karens give me funny looks. Hey, go and fucking lay off the burgers, hen. I'll give you a fucking funny look when you're eating that fucking burger and ramming it in your throat. Fat fuck. Anyway, I just don't know what's, what's, what this is going to all... What's the final, what's the final solution here, guys? Are we just going to sit back and watch this fucking happen? Are we just going to sit back and watch as our politicians vote these laws in? And there's got to be no no comeback for the people. We're just going to sit back and watch this shit happen. I don't know, guys. I feel like England's, they're protesting more against it, but I don't know if it's genuine protest because you've got these idiots shutting down roads and now the courts are passing laws to just arrest these people. They can't even protest anymore. These were environmentalists, I think. I, I don't think these, are, these people are even anti-COVID passports or anything like that. These were environmentalists. But these environmentalists have ruined it for everybody now. Because if we want to get to the streets now and protest the COVID passports on roads, block roads or anything, we'll just get arrested instantly. We'll not even get heard for a week like they have. They managed to shut down the road for a week. Had nothing, no, no actions against them until the courts came in. So sometimes I think these protests are just to hurry along the, the law systems, to, to put new laws down to stop this. Anyway, guys, I want to have a hangout. I want to speak to like-minded people because I'm going to go fucking insane if I don't. I'm working with little fucking douchebags <clears throat> that are in their mid-20s. They're running away, getting double jabs. Then they're coming in, oh, I got my double jab. It's like, why the fuck did you... Why? Hey, so I can go on holiday. So I can go to your concert. Fucking slap! Assholes, and it's all the young guys that you think would be fighting against this. These are the these are our future. These are these are who are meant to be our future, and they're running away. They're the first in the fucking queue to get the the jab. So we're fucked. We're f if 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 our future's running running away to get the jab. So like, what what chance have we got? What chance have we got? And they're trying to give the kids at school. It's not just the parents' decision if they should be uh, jabbed or not, it's the kids as well. So they're trying to create divisions within the households, like if there's parents that want the kids jabbed and the, and the kid doesn't want a jab, there's going to be a division there. If the parent doesn't want the kid jabbed but the, 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 the kid's been rebellious and wants his jab because the rest of his friends have had it, it's going to create division. It's got to create division everywhere. The people need to come together. 
the Scottish people especially, because I live in Scotland, and we're just so pacified. We'll just roll over. We'll just fucking bend over and get it shoved right up there without any fucking lube. Anyway, people, I'm going to have a hangout tonight. I want to see you there. I want to hear you. And I just hope this, this ends pretty soon. Cheers, guys.